Hi there! Welcome to our learning activity video on solutions to math facts for senior high school general mathematics. This time, we are in quarter 1, week 6, C. For the objective, the learners represent an exponential function through its A, table of values, B, graph, and C, equation. Find the domain and range of an exponential function. Determine the intercepts, zeros, and asymptotes of an exponential function. For the directions, for exercises 1 and 2, sketch the graph of the given exponential function and use the graphing paper. Exercise 1, sketch the graph of an exponential function f of x equals 3 raised to x. Solution Step 1, we have to construct a table of values of ordered pairs for the given function f of x equals 3 raised to x. In here, we have let x is assigned arbitrarily. So let's start from negative 3 up to positive 3. So what is f of x if x is negative 3? That is equivalent to f of negative 3 equals 1 over 3 cubed. And that's 1 over 27. f of negative 2 is equal to 1 over 3 squared. 1 over 9 f of negative 1, we have 1 over 3 raised to 1 or simply 1 third. f of 0 is 3 raised to 0 or 1. f of 1, 3 raised to 1, 3. f of 2, 3 squared, 9. And f of 3, 3 cubed, 27. Now let's have the graph of this function f of x equals 3 raised to x. If x is negative 3, we have here 1 over 27. If it's negative 2, then we have 1 ninth. If x is negative 1, 1 third. If x is 0, we have 1. If x is 1, we have 3. And if x is 2, we have 9. And if x is 3, we have 27, and so on and so forth. Notice that the function is defined for all values of x. It strictly increases, and y has positive values. In this case, all the values for x on the x-axis has its own counterparts or has its points on the graph of this function f of x equals 3 raised to x. As x decreases without bound, so meaning as x is going to negative infinity, the function is approaching the x-axis or simply y equals 0. This y equals 0 is what we call the horizontal asymptote of this exponential function. For the y-intercept, why is it 1? Well, getting the y-intercept is to set x equals 0 and solve for f of 0. So, f of 0 is 1. So, in here, the y-intercept signifies that the graph of the function touches or crosses the y-axis. So, it's here. This point, one for, 0 for x, 1 for y. For the x-intercept, there's none. There is no way for this function to cross or touch the x-axis. So, x-intercept, none. Of course, as mentioned earlier, the horizontal asymptote is the line y equals 0 or simply the x-axis. For exercise number 2, we have to sketch the graph of an exponential functions f of x equals 3 raised to x and g of x equals 5 raised to x. Let us discuss first the table. Here, we assign values for x, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1, 2. What is f of negative 2? This is equal to 1 over 3 squared, or 1 ninth. f of negative 1 is 1 third, f of 0 is 1, f of 1 is 3 raised to 1, or 3, f of 2 is 3 squared, is 9. 
for the g of x equals 5 raised to x, that we have g of negative 2 is 1 over 5 squared or 1 over 25. g of negative 1 is 1 over 5 raised to 1 or simply 1 fifth. g of 0 is 1. g of 1 is 5. And g of 2 is 5 squared. So these are the table of values for the two functions. We are to graph. So here's the graph and its corresponding points on the graph. Let's consider the red colored graph and let's call this g of x equals 5 raised to x. So we have to plug in the value. If x is equal to negative 2, we have for g of x, we have 1 over 25 here. For negative 1, consider the red colored graph. g of negative 1 is 1 fifth. g of 0 is 1. g of 1 is 5. And g of 2 is 25 up there. And for f of x, the green colored graph, f of x equals 3 raised to x, we have f of negative 2, that is 1 over 9, or 1 ninth, f of negative 1, that's 1 third, f of 0 is 1, f of 1 is 3, and f of 2 is 9 somewhere there. Notice that both graphs are strictly increasing. But take a look at this. It says here g of x equals 5 raised to x increases faster than f of x equals 3 raised to x. Yes, but take a look at here. At x less than 0, the red colored graph is below the green colored graph. So this means that at x less than 0, f of x is faster than g of x. But after x equals 0, or x greater than 0, we have here g of x, which is equal to 5 raised to x, is the upper graph already. So meaning it becomes faster here. The rate of increase of the graph the red colored graph is faster. Let's take a look at this. Let's compare why we can say that g of x is increasing faster than f of x at x greater than 0. Well, if x is 1, x is 1. What is f of 1? It's 3. In this case, it's here. But what is g of 1? It's 5. So meaning it is greater than? 5 is greater than 3, obviously. It's here. And at x equals 2, f of x is only 9, but g of x is already there up at 25. Okay, so that is the idea for exponential graph. So we move on to table 3. What are the domain, the range, the intercept, and the, the asymptotes of f? of x and g of x. Well, they have the same domain. The set of all x's such that x is a real number or simply set of all real numbers for the domain. And for the range, the same. The set of all y's such that y is a real number and y is positive. Or simply set of all positive real numbers. And the y-intercept of both graphs, f of x and g of x, is equal to 1, meaning it touches the y-axis at y equals 1. And there is no x-intercept. And all values for y are positive, so meaning there is no chance for the graph f of x and g of x to cross the x-axis. And both graphs has horizontal asymptote y equals 0. For the enrichment activity, directions, in the coordinate plane, sketch the graph of the given exponential functions, f of x equals 5 raised to x, g of x equals 3 raised to x, and h of x equals 3 raised to x plus 1. 
Well, step one, we have to construct the table. We have table four here. We have x. It ranges from negative three up to three. Then we have f of x, g of x, and h of x. We have five raised to negative three. That is one over 125. 5 raised to negative 2 for f function, we have 1 over 25. 5 raised to negative 1, 1 fifth. 5 raised to 0, 1. 5 raised to 1, 5. 5 raised to 2 or 5 squared, 25. 5 raised to 3 or 5 cubed, we have 125. For g of x equal to 3 raised to x, so, g of negative 3, that is 3 raised to negative 3, that's 1 over 27. 3 raised to negative 2, that's 1 over 3 squared or 1 ninth. 3 raised to negative 1, 1 third. 3 raised to 0, 1. 3 raised to 1, 3. 3 raised to 2 or 3 squared, 9. 3 raised to 3, 3 cubed, 27. For h, h is equal to 3 raised to x plus 1. So we have 3 raised to negative 3 plus 1. That is 3 raised to negative 2 or simply 1 over 3 squared or 1 9. And for x equals negative 2, that's 3 raised to negative 2 plus 1. That's 3 raised to negative 1. That's 1 third. If x is negative 1, that is 3 raised to negative 1 plus 1, 3 raised to 0. So meaning we have 1. If x is 0, 3 raised to 0 plus 1, it's 3. If x is 1, we have 3 raised to 1 plus 1, 3 squared, 9. If x is 2, we have 3 raised to 2 plus 1, 3 cubed, 27. And if x is 3, we have 3 raised to 3 plus 1, it's 3 raised to 4, 81. For the graph, we have here the graph f of x is the blue colored one. f of x is 5 raised to x. So we have if x is 0, we have 1. If x is negative 1, we have 1 fifth. If x is negative 2, we have 1 over 25. If x is equal to 1, 5 raised to 1 is 5, and so on. And for the g of x, 3 raised to x, we have it already earlier. But let us recall here. If x is equal to negative 3, then 3 raised to negative 3 is 1 over 27. 3 raised to negative 2, it's 1, 9. 3 raised to negative 1, 1 third. 3 raised to 0 is 1, 3 raised to 1 is 3, and 3 raised to 2 is 9 up there, and so on. So g of x, the red colored curve is 3 raised to x. For h of x, this is equal to 3 raised to x plus 1. If x is negative 2, 3 raised to negative 2 plus 1, that's 1 third. If x is this one, the green colored graph is h of x. If x is equal to negative 1, that is 3 raised to negative 1 plus 1, 0 here. If x is negative 1, y is 1. If x is equal to 0, here we have 0 plus 1, 3 raised to 0 plus 1 is 3 here. In other words, take a look at the green colored graph and the red colored graph. The g of x, 3 raised to x, and h of x, 3 raised to x plus 1. This is considered to be, they belong to a family of curves. Take a look. Say, if this is the standard form, the g of x is 3 raised to x and then we have 3 raised to x plus 1. We just simply move this red colored curve one unit to the left. This point will be here. This point will be here. One unit. This point will be one unit going to the left. And so on and so forth. So the three graphs are strictly increasing. 
So we have here table 5 for the domain, the range, the y-intercept, the x-intercept, and the horizontal asymptote. So this is our reference in figure 3, table 5. f of x equals 5 raised to x, and g of x is equal to 3 raised to x. So they have exponent x. So for the domain, it's the set of all real numbers. For the range, it is the case that they are positive. As you can see in the graph, there is no part of the graph that is below the x-axis or the y, the negative y values here. There's none. So that means that the range of these three curves is the set of all positive real numbers, the same as this one here. In h of x equals 3 raised to x plus 1. For the y-intercept equals 1. As you can see, the red colored and the blue colored curve crosses the point or they have the, the point of intersection or they have a common point at x equals 0. And that is at y equals 1. So the y-intercept there is 1. Again, the y-intercept is the point in the graph at which the curve touches the y-axis. So in this case, here at y equals 1. There's no x-intercept. And the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. Or simply the x-axis. So that means that the curves will not touch the x-axis or will not touch the horizontal asymptote y equals 0. What's the difference between this set of information here in this column 1 and column 2? It's only the y-intercept. Take note that the y-intercept of the graph of h of x equals 3 raised to x plus 1 is at 3. That means that the green colored curve touches the y-axis at y equals 3. In this case, it's here. Okay. So this ends our video for this learning activity. If you are not yet a subscriber of this channel, kindly subscribe. And please don't forget to like and share. And this is Teacher Marichu saying stay happy, healthy, and safe. God bless.